was on 13 cents for a grand total of $54.62 and my value was 32%. That's one of my better ones. I really tried to not buy anything that was not on my just for you list. I think I'll probably get a couple things, but um, I didn't mean to, but anyway. Anyway, so um, I'll have to show you what I bought. Let me put on a different boxes side, but oops, I'm right in front of you. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what you can see here. Sorry, a little closer, put you there. All right. So, bag number one. I got three of the Pure Irish Butter Kerrygold. Um, my Just For You price. Um, let's see here, where is this on here? Yeah, they don't bag things in the same order that they take them off the conveyor belt. Kerrygold was, uh, let's see, three of these would have cost me $12.89. I saved $4.23, so I paid $8.64 for three of these. They're just going to go into my freezer. And then I got this for um, on sale for $3.50, pastrami. And then I got uh, feta cheese, the big container. Um, Let's see, I, say, I know I saved two dollars on this. Um, I think I would know all these prices, but I just literally just got home. Ugh. Okay, the feta cheese was regularly uh, eleven ninety nine. I got it for nine ninety nine. Now I've invited my nephew and his fiance over to make um, calzones tomorrow night for dinner. Um, homemade and so I'm gonna make the pizza dough today and then just put pop it in the fridge and all three of us are lactose intolerant so this is made with I believe goat's cheese I don't know oh there we go uh, feta cheese processed oh it says pasteurized milk uh, that was goat cheese well I know it doesn't bother me so um, we'll see if they want to use it I could have sworn this was made from goat's cheese goat's milk but anyway um, and then I, I, this wasn't on sale, but I found this, what a fine, lactate, low-fat cottage cheese. I have not eaten cottage cheese in about 10 years. That's when I became lactose intolerant. It was probably, oh no, 15 years ago. Okay. This is a huge, huge, huge treat for me. Um, I bought two bell peppers that I will saute up just a little bit to put on our calzones. And of course, my must-have... Coffee creamer, if they stop making this, I'll probably stop drinking coffee. That was on sale for $3.99. Okay, and then I got for, oh, let, me get, let me make sure I give you the right information here. Okay, so I got this pack for um, eleven dollars and no, let's see, sixteen dollars. It's two T-bones. Okay, so sixteen dollars and seventy cents for two, and it's just shy of three pounds. Um, it was just regularly on sale for six ninety nine, the club price, which saved me eleven dollars and thirty six cents, and then I had my just for you for $2.99 for the per pound, and so that brought it down another $3.15. So, yeah, otherwise this would have been at regular price, at $10.99 a pound, $31.21. Yeah. I have not eaten a T-bone in, yeah, okay, that's another one of those. It's been a long time. Then I bought, This was $2.88 a pound on sale from $5 a pound. I can get it out of bag. They did a pretty damn good job showing it in here. Oh, okay. So I got a uh, little over seven and a half pounds for $22.12. See if I got anything else off of that. Let's see. Neat. Uh, 
yeah, no, that was it. So I saved, um, I saved a bunch. So yeah, it was regularly five dollars a pound. I got it for two eighty eight a pound, and it's the seventy three. Uh, I mean ninety three seven, which is perfect. I don't like all that fatty stuff in my hamburger meat. And the other thing, so that's another bag done. Okay, then I got. They had two. They had chickens. Whole roasted chicken, 77 cents a pound. Can you believe it? No, I'm going to do one of these is going to just get cleaned up and then frozen for when I make soup. Um, but the other one, I'm going to do the spackling chicken, spackle chicken. Oh, I don't know. I saw Mrs. Um, Wolfie. Um, on this half acre homestead plus bev for those of you that watch her channel um she did it where she cut up both sides and splayed the chicken out like that i don't know i want to give that a try i never i really never buy whole chickens i can't take, i'm not bothered with cleaning them and all that stuff but 77 cents a pound you know i'm, I'm thinking i should have probably got more but you can only get what you can afford, right? All right, and then I got, let's see, this is some more stuff for our calzone, or pizza, or whatever we're making. I bought some uh, baby spinach. That was on sale. Um, I bought um, Italian sausage, and I know I bought a pork sausage, and I'm gonna cook up one of them for our meals. I bought some no sugar added diced peaches, the small little cups for my cottage cheese that I'm super excited about. And then I got a whole bunch of, now um, if you have a Safeway where you live, refresh ice. This stuff is so, so good. Now the cherry, which I did actually buy, is really sweet. So even though this is carbonated, I add it to water, regular water. Just, you know, a little bit of this in a glass of water and it's just right. And it's very refreshing. I also add this because it is carbonated. I add this a little bit to my kombucha when I'm getting ready to drink it. So what I really like about this is that it's sodium free with uh, added vitamins. This is the best part. Let me see if it, what you can see here. No calories, no carbs, obviously no sugar, no sodium, no fat. No protein, but yeah, it's got all, all this other stuff in it. But look, this is a diabetic's dream. Um, it's got yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of vitamins in it, um, and I am sure it has other stuff in here. I can't believe this is not going to raise my blood sugar. But I've tried these; my blood sugars were fine. So I went ahead and got several flavors. So I got, let's see, two black raspberry. This is the one that I, this one, it's not my favorite, but I, I'll drink it. This one, wild cherry, I absolutely love it, but it's super, super sweet. It's really got to be diluted. So that one actually lasts a long time. They only had one, unfortunately, of the lemonade. So I wanted to try that. Okay, and there's my pork sausage. So I'm going to decide which one of these two. I want to cook. And last bag, probably more drinks. I know I bought more than that. All right, so some mushrooms to go with our calzones. Turkey pepperoni because it was two for seven dollars, so I got two. Um, I had seventy-five cents off Sargento cheese slices. And oh, wild cherry. That's a new flavor for me. Another coffee creamer that was on sale, same one. Um, another wild cherry, I like cherry. And then another one of the other ones. So two of the other cherries and raspberry. And then, um, I wish these were sugar-free, but they're no carbohydrates, um, no calories. But um, I sleep with a CPAP machine on and sometimes my mouth gets super dry. So I, I like to pop a, a Tic Tac or two in my yapper um, just before I go to sleep 
um, and suck on it as I'm um, watching some TV. And it helps to, it seems to help to keep my mouth moist. Plus I drink a lot of water so I'm not leaving any sugar behind on my teeth all night to help broth them out of my head. All right, so that is my entire Safeway, Safeway shopping expedition for today. Now I'm, I spent my budget for the month, so um, no more shopping for me. Even the chickens there are at such a good price. Although I may have to rob Paul to go pay Safeway to buy a couple more chickens. And I have until Tuesday night. I think the ad changes on Wednesday. So um, there you go. There's my haul. If you like seeing videos like this and would like to see more, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you'd like. And um, if not, subscribe. Share on Facebook. Check out my links below for all my favorite things that I buy from Amazon. And also for, um, uh, if you're interested in Zacon uh, meats, um, use my link below and um, I get a small tiny Zacon credit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just sort of helps me out um, uh, when I make my next purchase, which I've already done. But anyway, all right. Thank you very much. See you again soon.